Mirroring Example. In one of these videos in this unit, we've already studied mirroring. But what I want to do is show a practical application for it. So here I have this shoulder piece. What I did, it had an origin at the center of the piece. So I took my 3D cursor, right clicked into the center of the part, as far as the center of the overall character. And then I went object, transform, origin to 3D cursor. Okay. Now there's a couple ways to mirror. There's a feature in here called mirror and I can mirror across the X global. Again, X being this way. If I make a duplicate of it first, holding Shift D, right click, the right click will enforce the change and that way I know that there's another part here and I can go Object, Mirror, X Global. Now as I said, there's a couple different ways to do this, so that's one way to do it. Another way to do it, again, make a duplicate, Shift D, right click. Over here I have a scale. I could put a negative number in here for the X and it will mirror it just the same way. Negative one. Good. So I just wanted to show you what a practical application looks like for mirroring. If you wanted to work on both parts now, they have the same center. Technically, I could join these parts together and they get affected the same way. So if I ever went back to sculpt mode with X symmetry on, you can see now I can grab them both at the same time. Good. Let's move on to the next video.